I would like now to introduce your speaker for today, Robert McKenzie. Robert is a partner of law firm of Arnstein and their LLP of Chicago, Illinois, concentrating his practice in representation before the Internal Revenue Service and state tax agencies. He has lectured extensively on the subject of tax representation. He has presented courses before thousands of CPAs, attorneys, and enrolled agents nationwide. He has made numerous media appearances, including Dateline NBC and the ABC Nightly News. He served as a member of the IRS Advisory Council, which is a group appointed by the IRS Commissioner to provide advice to him and his management team. He was the Dean of National Tax Practice Institute and is the author of Representation before the Collection Division of the IRS and co-author representing the audited taxpayer before the IRS and representation before the United States Tax Court. He has been elected to the American College of Tax Council and serves as its president. Robert recently received an award from the American Bar Association for Excellence in Tax Controversy. Robert, welcome to the program. We are now ready to begin. Thank you. Let's begin. So our program for today will be discussing what's going on in the IRS representation realm and what that means is what's going on in audits, collections, and criminal investigation. We'll cover a wide range of topics in addition to that, though, including the impact of the IRS budget cuts on the IRS, um, the priorities that they've set as their budget has been cut each year since 2010. We'll discuss the problems that the IRS has determined by the Taxpayer Advocates Report in this year. We'll also go through a lot of topics of things you should be up to date on because of recent changes that have been implemented by statute or by the IRS. So with that being the uh, agenda, let's move on. And as I pointed out right away to begin my lecture, the IRS is suffering large budget cuts, and what we have here is a breakdown of the impact on its high-paid professional staff. And revenue officers collect taxes for the IRS, and you'll see that there's been a dramatic drop in the number of people collecting taxes, and we'll see that impact when we move to the statistics for what the IRS collection division is doing to try to collect back taxes. We have revenue agents who do audits in the field. They go out and meet with taxpayers and uh, discuss their uh, tax return determined uh, deficiencies, and we've had a substantial drop there, but nowhere near the percentage drop in the collection people. And then special agents are criminal investigators for the IRS, and you'll see that each year the number of criminal investigators assigned to go out and investigate taxpayers has dropped to a level of about 2,230 people as of the end of September in 2016. Uh, and the total overall draft drop is about, about 7,000 professionals. Now, these are the best trained, uh, most experienced people at the IRS in, the, in their professions, and they've had a huge drop. 